Hi there, it's Sasha, creator of Coding Rooms here. Today in this video, I'll walk you through what it's like to run a real programming class in Coding Rooms from the instructor's perspective. Hi everyone, all my students. I've pasted some code into the presentation. Today we're going to look at how JavaScript sorts um, arrays of strings. In the code sample, you see on line three, uh, where Angela's cursor was right now, is the example new user. So what I'd like for everyone to do is copy this code from the presentation, um, move it into your own workspace, and change um, the example new user to your own name, run the code, and play around with it. In the meantime, I'm going to switch over to my instructor dashboard, and I'm going to help you all with your code, and I'll be able to monitor um, who's making progress on what. I see David, you just posted, pasted your code in. Um, same with Chris. Great, David, I see you even changed your name already. Um, now I'm looking for all my other students to come in. Austin, I see your code, and I see that you're making changes. Great, and everyone's running their code. So as the instructor, this is what it looks like for me in coding rooms. I'm able to see everyone's code, where they're typing, and it's all in real time. Now, on the sidebar here, I'm able to see everyone who joined my class today. Now, unfortunately, some of my students aren't being that active, and I see that by the activity tag that shows up in the list. So if I want to search for a particular user, let's say I want to search for um, Austin, I can see that Austin's actually really active in my class. He was typing uh, just about 45 seconds ago. Um, and I can select anyone in this list um, to interact with their code through the instructor dashboard. Overall, that's what it's like to run a classroom uh, as an instructor on coding rooms. Thank you, and please check out Coding Rooms at codingrooms.com.